than half the membership of Kusat who was in the National Union of Mines. That's how big it was. Which means that um, theoretically the NUN could decide the policy alone of Kusat. So we go to conferences. And the Congress of the NUN did not want to debate with anybody. You raise an issue for debate, but I'm okay. <laughs> now, that was during the time when a child was born. So I don't know what happened to that child, but I'm going to just tell you later. <laughs> the area was like standing ready for something. <laughs> Very big. Uh, but they detested uh, until this moment that worked very hard. Uh, but what was interesting was this thing I would like to So from the point of view of the ANC, given the tensions and everything else that existed within the newly formed society, it was good that we are there, NUM on our side. But there are long-term consequences that are not very good. When Congress don't want to debate because they are being there for the numbers. You won't feel it now, you will feel it further down the road. Now, I am saying, and I say this at the risk of, of being controversial, uh, and the Congress that went with me know that I don't mind being controversial. Because I think there is a correlation between being non controversial and being politically unproductive. <laughs> 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 it seems to me that one of the things we may have to think about in the ANC is to slim down the quantitative drive for membership and attend to the task of ramping up the quality of the existing. Yeah. Yeah. I am not suggesting that there must be gatekeeping. <laughs> what I'm saying is that we need to strike a good balance between, I think, de emphasizing uh, just wanting to grow the numbers. Because we are doing a very bad job with the members we have. Where are we going to get the capacity? Uh, we are going to spend every week in the, the meetings of the National Disciplinary Committee. I think the type of strategic problem we are facing now necessitates that we think about this. It means that those who are serving in the leading organs of the ANC must meet the test of leadership. Uh, you are going to Macau. Mm. It would be so refreshing to have a sense that people are thinking less about survival and more about what is in the interest of the mm. Just for once. Just to think about something that is less pleasant to my lesson, but more strategically important. We don't science this. I'm not saying it's not happening. Maybe I may say a retired uh, what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a retired politician, but I'm not a retired revolutionary. I'm saying um, sitting in the anonymity of my retirement, I may not be seen certain things that I'm going to do. But I don't have a sense that uh, we have woken up to the reality that the movement is locked in a stagnating spiral with consequences that are not limited to the movement itself. Because the fate of our democracy also happens to depend on the state of health of the ANC. So the consequences tend to be much bigger than we seem to realize. 
and maybe this is a problem of big organizations. Now, there are problems on the ground, and the organization that looks at the reflexes could respond. It's like uh, getting a, a grocery pipe for your soccer team who weighs 400 kg. You made money. No reflexes. Why is the organization so flat footed? I'm saying these many things that we are talking about are happening, but you don't feel that there is an adequate response to the problem. Uh, it's time to get to the heart of the strategic problems. Because as I said, the fate of our democracy depends by and large on what the ANC does. It means that the ANC has to accept the painful reality that we have done a lot <coughs> which disappointed the expectations of our people. And maybe we need to use this sense of a new beginning to reassure our people that we deserve the confidence which they invested in us. I'm not asking us to go back to the past. I'm asking us to go back to the basics. The distinction between those two aspects. It is why we must go back to the basics. Um, thank you. Thank you. 